Hey, what's up everybody? Adobe Masters here. And today I'm gonna to be showing you a tutorial of an effect that I accidentally created. Um, I still don't even know how to name this. Basically what it does is it takes a bunch of freeze frames and it makes it look like you're a cameraman in this frozen shot. So like you can look around at this 3D scape of everything frozen around you. It looks really neat. Let's take a look at it. Let me go ahead and turn these both on. And so if we zoom this in a little bit, you'll see that the effect does basically this. You'll see that there's like camera movement on top of a still frame. So it's like you're getting this cool movement, but everything is frozen around you. Like you're still a cameraman. And it looks really neat when you go into like the end over here and like, you know, you're zooming in and out of different locations and everything is frozen around you. I don't know. It just, it looks so cool. I thought I had to share it and it was an accident. So basically let's see what we did here. So I had this piece of footage. And so the first thing I did was I warp stabilize it, which took like three minutes. And that, you know, it creates a beautiful stabilization here. You see that it's just like really, really nice. Looks like I, maybe I'm on a, what is that? Um, a steady cam or something like that walking down. It was just a handheld shot. So, it, you know, very, very shaky. So you get this beautiful warp stabilization. But then I wanted to add posturized time because I was thinking, can I like emulate a time lapse or a hyperlapse or something? So I added posturized time on top of that. And basically what that does is it just... Um, if you just turn on posturized time, every 0.5, or it cuts it down to 0.5 frames a second instead of the 30 that I frame this on. So you'll see you get basically that one sec, uh, one frame every about two seconds here. So then when I combine the two though, with the warp stabilizer and then the posturized time on here, I got this interesting effect. So the posturized time is making it go 0.5 frames a second. And then the warp stabilizer is stabilizing the footage as if there's 30 frames a second. This means it's moving it around as if there's 30 frames a second. So you get this really realistic, like handheld warp stabilization on top of just freeze frames, which gives this cool illusion that you're like a cameraman while everything else is frozen around you. And you're kind of just recording picture to picture and you can look around and everything. It, it creates a really neat effect um, that I was not even going for, but that I might be using in the future at some point. But yeah, I just wanted to show that quick effect. All you have to do is throw posturized time and then warp stabilizer onto the same effect and make sure that this value is really, really, really small. And what you also need is some camera um, shake there. So like if we back this up, you'll see that it just let, you know, there's just some step shake. Um, I'm trying to keep it as stable as possible, but there's a little camera shake. It's a handheld shot. So you need to start from there. Otherwise, warp stabilizer won't be able to, like if you start from a steady cam, warp stabilizer won't be adding all this cool effect in here. But yeah, the really quick video just kind of wanted to show that effect. I thought it was really neat. Thank you everyone for watching this. Uh, subscribe if you want to see more Adobe related content. If you got any questions, comments, or suggestions for future tutorials, throw those in the comments below. And until next time, guys, see ya.